What is up, wrestling fans? Cape Ape Chronicles with your host, JP. I don't know if you guys saw the news today, but holy crap on a cracker. All of Winnipeg is shitting their pants in regards to this news. Oh, been waiting for this. The whole world has been waiting for this. Uh, but if you guys didn't see it, it has been announced that New Japan at Wrestle Kingdom 12 this upcoming year. The main event is going to be Kenny Omega taking on Chris Jericho. Oh my god, there's so much excitement. I can't even contain my pants right now. It is just... Like, like they've been trolling each other on social media for a while now. So you kind of hinted that it might happen, but you didn't think it would happen. Like, oh my god, this is so amazing. Just everything Kenny Omega has done this past year has been amazing. Everything Chris Jericho has done this past year has been amazing. Like, and this really hits really close to, like, me and, like, the wrestling community here in Winnipeg. Because, you know, obviously both of them are from our great... Our great hometown. Go Jets, go. Go Jets, go. But, like, me especially, like, you know, uh, growing up, there was a local wrestling promotion held here, uh, hosted by the great Don Callis. Those of you know him as Cyrus the Virus, or Jackal, essentially. But, yeah, he was uh, the booker promoter and ran out of the, out of the Sinclair Park Community Center. In the, in the north end of Winnipeg. It wrestled in other places, but that's where I remember. But I remember one guy on it was a super young Chris Jericho. Like, he was just kind of starting out, essentially. And and just, uh, so I was like, you know, I've kind of felt like I've grown up watching Chris Jericho. You know, watching him that, and then watching his New Japan days, and then watching him in WCW, and watching him in WWE, and just watching him just grow and be one of the best, best all-around workers of all time. Like, who else could take... A storyline is as dumb on paper as a list and make it work uh, and then like I said Kenny Omega you know like he uh, first time I saw Kenny Omega was in another local wrestling uh, group out here uh, PCW Premier Championship Wrestling and one match I always remember it was him versus Ross Skills uh, in a Falls Count Anywhere match uh, for the Junior Heavyweight Championship that was held by Ross Skills at the time and they wrestled all over, all over the venue, uh, like just all over the the bar, and just some of the spots they were doing was just out of this world. It, it ended in a draw, but uh, you know, because time expired, but it was still like just one of those matches. Like you know, because I saw Kenny wrestle a couple times prior to that, but like that match is what cemented in my mind that you know, dude, this guy's gonna do something one of these days. And he's just he's always just been a pleasure to talk to after the show. It's kind of funny because when you see him on the microphone, he's like, you know, like, yeah, like in your face. But in real life, he's actually very quiet. Like, he's actually a very shy guy. Uh, like, he'll always take time to talk to the fans and shake people's hands. But, like, just whenever I talk to him, he's just, you know, he's just, hey, you know, like, hey, how's it going? Like, he's very, very mild laid back. And then there's Chris Jericho that's just in your face. Uh, you know, I've had the pleasure of meeting both of them on numerous occasions and just... Like, this match is, like, it's it means so much to me to see it. It's essentially, like, a passing of a torch from, like, an old-school Winnipeg wrestler to to, to the new up-and-coming Winnipeg wrestler, essentially. And it's going to be amazing. It's going to blow the roof off the Tokyo Dome. The world's going to rejoice because it's now going to be a better place that they have wrestled. And I'm looking forward to seeing this. So, yeah, mark it on your guys' calendars. Wrestle Kingdom 12, Omega vs. Jericho. Everyone's just going to shit their pants with amazement. And, ah, oh, I, I cannot wait to see it. Figured I would let you guys know what I think about that. If you guys aren't happy about this match, then I don't know why you are still breathing. Uh, but, yeah, as always, if you like the video, crush that like button. Subscribe for more great videos. Follow us on Twitter using those two name tags below. And, as always, check out that Facebook page also in the description. This is JP from KV Chronicles, and I will see you guys next time. After I change my pants, so much excitement, just all over the place. Mm, it's going to be so good.